So I thought we'd talk about a concept that you put out there and we've been throwing around a lot about doing yourself first. Yeah, you want to know how to do something. You want to know how to do uh, anal penetration on somebody else. Yeah, you want to try some new sex act. <laughs> do it on yourself so you know what it feels like. Because if you want to finger an asshole or a pussy or yes. eat, the, you know, whatever it is, or try a little S and M, do a whatever. little bondage. Yes. See how well, it don't feels. Don't tie yourself up so that you can't get. <laughs> don't point into something. That's poking. Don't and, poke. and that hurts because you lead with your nail. So touch with the soft spot of your pad Head. like this. And if you're going to penetrate an orifice, push with this side here. Yeah. Don't go with the, the poking, nail first. No, poking is no, it doesn't feel good. No. And you can practice, like I say, on yourself. So that started with this kid who wanted to know. I love that question, didn't I you? I thought that was really yeah. progressive. So he's thinking oral sex. He knows what that's like because he can do it and receive it and... and uh, and he wanted to know if, if, everything he could know. He could know everything how it feels for a woman so except sweet. vaginal penetration. And would anal penetration be similar to vaginal? So and the idea is yes, it is. It would. It, it would be. I have often said, all men should have anal penetration before they ever do vaginal penetration. While it's not the same, the muscle structure is different. And the vagina can be more flexible than the anus because a lot of people are definitely tight asses. <laughs> but the idea is, is, is similar. Yes, practice on yourself. Do anal penetration, guys, and see like, oh, what is it? You're going inside somebody's body. That's what we got all trippy on the other night. You're going inside a woman's body, inside her. Uh, and so That's a huge statement. So when you're inside her, she's susceptible to pregnancy, disease. That's what's going through her mind. Yeah. All the, you know, what ifs. And and so that you can understand all the, you know, oh my God, is the birth control going to work? Is the rubber going to come off? I mean, there's like all of this stuff going on. And then she'll clench. And as soon as that happens, it's discomfort. And then a man usually just tries to push it right in because that's what they do in porn. You just They just go right to the <laughs> penetration. You have to slow pen. Warm up to everything. Take some time. Now the other thing for vaginal penetration. Mm -hmm. Women need to do this for themselves first. Before they let anybody yes. else penetrate their vagina, they must do it themselves. And that is exactly what you said, the finger pad, and take your time, mm -hmm. get in touch with the pelvic floor muscle and Feel work it. it. Put your finger in and squeeze around your finger. Feel it around your finger. Lots and lots of lube. So if you're starting out, you know, with vaginal penetration, you're starting with a finger, then you go two fingers. Then you might want to, to graduate to a carrot carved to size. Or if that's too harsh, I, I prefer the zucchini. I think zucchini. <laughs> the zucchini is our favorite. <laughs> if you haven't fucked a zucchini, you haven't lived. <laughs> so, But you carve the skin off the part that you're going to use for penetration. Yes, so you're not putting the wax in. You're going to wash it. No, and you're, you're going, going to, leave, to leave some of the skin on the bottom. To hold a, it so it's not slippery. Yeah. There's your dildo. Homemade costs you what? Oh, and the a other, dollar. <laughs> the other thing is that in the workshops, women would say, "I'd say, uh, uh, if you have your own dildo, bring it in for the next workshop. We're going to practice penetration." And they would say, "Well, what size should I get?" And my answer: "It's your vagina, not mine." <laughs> I mean, why would I know what size are you doing? So here, that's the idea: learn what size you like. And if you're going to, and dildos are expensive. You know, you're going to spend a hundred bucks or so. So the vegetable dildo, you want to know what size you want, try it with the vegetable, then measure what it is, and then you can order online. You'll know what you want. The perfect size. Ta-da. Mr. Wright. I'm carving Mr. Wright. Let me see. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Nope. Too oh. big. Take that one. <laughs> oh, I need a little more. <laughs> oh, start with a new one. I didn't make it big enough. <laughs>